Welcome everyone to the first video of this series, the blinking tutorial. Today's video difficulty is for beginners, so if you are starting with the Arduino, this was made for you. Here are the parts you'll need today. An Arduino, a breadboard to connect your components, a LED of any color, and finally a resistor between 300 and 1000 ohms. Now let me show you how to mount the circuit on the breadboard. The first thing I always do when mounting a circuit like this is to connect the power pins from the Arduino to the power rails on the breadboard. So connect the 5V pin from the Arduino to the red rail in the breadboard. Then do the same for the ground pin, connecting it to the blue rail. Next, place the LED in the breadboard, keeping in mind that the shorter leg stands for ground and the longer for voltage or VCC. Place one end of the resistor in the VCC leg of the LED and let the other one for later. This will prevent your circuit from short circuiting. Now connect the ground pin of the LED to the ground rail of the breadboard. The last thing to do is to plug the pin from the Arduino that will control the LED. Today we will use pin number 2. Inserting it in the other end of the resistor will do the job. Now that you've finished yours, let me do mine. So, one of the things you'll notice when you create a new project is that there will be two functions. The first is the setup function, which will run only once, either when you turn on or reset the Arduino. The second is the loop function, where most of your code will run, and as the name says, it will run over and over because it's in a loop. Now, let's start with the setup function. For now, here, we will tell the Arduino what to do with its pins. <laughs> Let's use the pin mode function to tell the Arduino that the pin number 2 will be an output instead of an input, enabling it to control the LED. You can see that the pin mode function has two parameters. The first being the number of the pin you want to set and the second is the mode of that pin. If you choose the mode to be an output, you can use it to control other devices, such as LEDs and more complex electronics. If you choose it to be an input, you can read signals, such as temperature and velocity from sensors. The next step is to actually control the LED. Since you want it to blink over and over, the loop function will actually be a great help. In order to make the LED blink, you want to do the following sequence. Turn it on, wait for let's say half a second, then you want to turn it off and wait again for half a second. Repeat this over and over and you have a blinking LED. So all we, all we need to do right now is to actually program it. Using the digital write function, you can control an output pin by setting it high or low. Let's say you want to turn the LED on. Then you need to set the pin where it is connected to high. Also, if you want it off, you have to set it to low. Inside of the loop, Let's start by making use of the digital write function to set the pin 2 to a high state. Next, in order, in order to wait for half a second, you can use the delay function. So just write delay in the parameter and insert how many milliseconds you want to wait, in this case 500. The delay function will stop the Arduino for the amount of time that you have introduced. Now, for turning the, for turning the LED off, you can use the same digital write function. Type digital write, and for the pin number 2, set the state to low. Now, since you are in a loop, when the Arduino executes your last command, it will repeat the code, therefore turning the LED on instantly, never allowing you to see it blink. You can solve this by waiting for another half a second using the delay function before it reaches the end. That's it! So easy, right? You have a LED that blinks with a frequency of 2 times per second. Let's compile the code and send it to the Arduino. 
start by connecting the USB cable to the board. You will see that the on LED will go on. Don't forget to check if you have selected the right Arduino board and the COM port in the settings. Before uploading the code, I like to compile it first to check for errors, but you can send it right away. Mine has no errors, so let's send it. Done! Congratulations! You just took the first step towards mastering the Arduino. In the next tutorial, I will teach you how to control LEDs with buttons. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please subscribe. See you next time!